Hey guys and welcome back to another video. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, my name is Danielle Shemillion and welcome to my channel. For this video, I decided to do something different. I wanted to show you guys my everyday bag that I use, what's inside, what it is, and let's get down into business. We have the Gucci Marma Matelasse purse. It is the small one that right now is retailed for $980. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a rundown as to is it worth it or is it not in a little But just to kind of give you guys an explanation as to what it looks like and how it feels It has very smooth leather on it to begin with um, It has your classic GG logo straight in the front of the purse And then when you flip it to the back of the purse It also has a huge GG engraved and stitched into the back of the purse as we can see on the front and also on the back of the purse, Gucci came out with a zigzag design. I'm not exactly sure what they were going for when they decided to come up with that, but all of the Marmount bags have this. They also come in different sizes, which I will include, but this right here is the smallest one you can get. It has a gold chain, which means it is gold hardware, and then it has a long strap that is not adjustable keep in mind if you are short it is gonna hang lower on your body compared to how it would hang on my body keep that in mind when you guys are looking on the on look part of the video for you guys to kind of get like in a better understanding as to how it would look when you were wearing them and i will be showing you guys an on look to see how i style this purse and how you guys can dress it up or dress it down the stitching is extremely detailed on this purse um as we can see the stitching literally right here it goes everywhere all over the zigzag even on the front of the purse the stitching is very evident as well it has a tassel for you to open and close your purse right here and then towards the inside, I'm gonna give you guys a rundown as to what is in my purse. My favorite chapstick of all time. My Vaseline Cocoa Butter Chapstick. Let's do it like how the makeup artists do. Okay, oh, oh, worked. Perfect. My favorite chapstick of all time. People, in fact, you know, people say like, when you buy a chapstick, you always lose it. I've had this for about like a year and a half, and I haven't lost it, guys. So let's not jinx it, but I love this chapstick. Anyways, moving on. Then we have my Fenty Beauty um, lip gloss in the color Fenty Glow. It's a universal gloss, so it's like literally perfect for every shade of your skin tone. Then my favorite little thing, we have my Givenchy card holder. It holds up to six credit cards, but I definitely have more inside. I try to work my way around it and then it also has like a slot inside my favorite card holder my first ever card holder actually i just love it it's so plain i love it love it love it love it uh you can never go wrong with this so if you're looking for a card holder by all means get this then we have some caruso wet wipes you know because we're in a pandemic then we have another purell hand sanitizer wet wipe then we have my Tarte lipstick stain in the color birthday soap. I have a love and hate relationship with this lip stain because the top has broken so many times when you close it. Basically, I'm just going to put it back because I'm not trying to break it. Then we have my favorite Charlotte Tillsbury lip liners. One is in Pillow Talk and the other one is in iconic nude so trust me get them i'm wearing the iconic nude one right now on my lips to discuss a little bit more on the inside of we have gucci listed here and it says made in italy and on the back let me try to show you guys like this it has its serial number i doubt you're gonna see it but it says it right here all the gucci bags have to have this specific thing inside of their purse and the serial number in the back of that little flap one more thing that i want to prove to you guys that an iphone xs plus fits into the purse perfectly as you can see it literally is the same 
size as my phone maybe the purse is just a tad bit bigger but i want to mention that like this is perfect for an everyday crossbody bag you can use it as a crossbody or you can just use it as a plain shoulder bag depending on what you're wearing and where you're going with it so i would highly suggest this part of the bag for that specific thing however i have used and abused this bag um, like I said, I use it every single day. I only change it if I'm going to a specific event and I need to change my purse and whatnot. But I have traveled with this bag. It's the perfect traveling bag because you could put anything and everything inside. Also, I've gone to amusement parks with it. And, you know, it's kind of annoying when you have a huge bag on you. This is perfect as a shoulder bag. So it's perfect in that sense. However, I do hate a lot of things about this purse. The stitching is and the leather is so awfully delicate that it scuffs very 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 quickly not to mention the stitching as you guys can see on my gg is already starting to come off honestly that's probably my fault because of the fact that i use this bag and i've abused this bag so many times but one thing that just pisses me off about this bag is it is gold hardware but the gold finish starts fading away after some time. So keep that in mind. So it becomes like a silvery gold tone, like two tone type of thing. The same thing happens with this chain. So I have told myself I will never ever purchase a Gucci bag that has a chain like this and just not an actual strap. Because I know for a fact that it's gonna fade in color and I don't really like that compared to Chanel bags or compared to an Hermes bag or compared to a YSL purse that I even have, they don't do that. If it's a silver finish, it won't turn into a different color. If it's a gold hardware purse, it won't turn into a different color and it shouldn't turn into a different color. So I was very upset and I had bought this purse from the Gucci boutique in Vegas so i had taken it back to them and i was like listen i've had this purse for about a year not even at that time it was about a year now it's probably been like a year and a half to, kicking it to two years they said that the purse shouldn't be doing that and they told me to bring it into the store next time i come there and honestly i just haven't had an opportunity to i'm hoping to go to vegas um within this year another thing i wanted to mention about this purse it is made in italy uh, just to give you guys a rundown as to where it's manufactured One thing that I didn't also like about this purse is I wish the compartment inside was a zipper rather than a pocket because It's stretched out so much because I've accidentally put every single thing That I've taken out and into my purse again into that pocket So it's literally stretched and I'm sorry to say it shouldn't be like that, but that is my fault um so keep that in mind when you're buying it. I would say buy one that has a zipper because it will be easier for you to maintain. Um, the inside is cream, so it does get dirty. Don't mind this. I had left glue in my purse and it popped. And basically it has stayed like that. I don't have any other negative thing to say about the bag really i think it's very durable in the sense of like a purse a crossbody bag that i can use on a day-to-day -day basis take it everywhere with me and again dress it up and dress it down i have taken this to a fancy dinner i have taken to this i have taken this purse to a birthday party literally grocery shopping it doesn't really matter as long as it does its job it's perfect i think they could have done a better job in regards to making sure that it doesn't start to fade to silver since i use this bag on a day-to-day -day basis literally every single day 
I'm pretty convinced that the elements of the weather have caused it to diminish in color even for the black um, I have left this out in the Sun so I might say it is my fault that this has happened maybe other people don't have this problem but I do have a few of my friends that also have this purse in a different color but still have the gold hardware and theirs has the same exact problem so I don't know if it's a manufacturer defect or who she just wanted to make it a two-tone bag or what the situation really is no one has given me a legitimate answer as to why this is happening to the purse I'm not gonna get upset over the situation because you know it's a purse you're supposed to wear it the purse isn't supposed to wear you if you're gonna pay a significant amount to buy a designer purse then expect it to sometimes not be what you wanted it to be and i want this review to be as honest as possible because i would want to get an honest opinion about something or whatever they're reviewing because i might be wanting to purchase that same item as well so i want to know exactly what is good about the purse or whatever or what's exactly horrible about the purse but i'm just upset the carelessness of gucci for the gold tone finish that they have put onto this bag so that's why i wanted to make this review because a lot of people have asked me what my thoughts are on this bag and that you know since i do use it on a day-to-day -day basis what my thoughts are so this is my honest review for the gucci marmont purse thank you for tuning into another video my name is danielle schmillian don't forget to hit that thumbs up button comment down below and if you guys have any single question or if you guys want to see anything in specific and most importantly, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more content. Thank you. Shamili out.